What's going on, guys? JK here. I want to talk to you today about some pretty serious stuff. Uh, normally, I'm kind of joking around and having fun, but today I'm actually going to be kind of serious. Uh, I'm not going to do a big, long intro. There's not going to be any music playing or anything like that. I'm just going to talk to you um, very honestly about some stuff that I've been through in the last few weeks. A couple weeks ago, I was given the opportunity to go backpacking with four other YouTubers. Backpacking with Jason's Jason Waugh. Jeremiah Stringer from Jeremiah Stringer Hikes, uh, Mark from Mark Goes Hiking, and Brad from As the Crow Flies Hiking. A bunch of just great guys that I was super excited about getting into the Red River Gorge with. Now those guys were all able to get there earlier in the day. I still had work to do at home before I was able to go out there, so I decided I would meet the guys out at Hanson's Point around lunchtime. So I got there, beat the guys out to Hanson's Point, uh, sat down, ate some lunch, just kind of relaxed, enjoyed being in one of my favorite places in the world. If you've ever watched this channel or if you've been watching for a while, you know that I love Hanson's Point. It's one of my favorite places to go visit. And so I, uh, I just kind of relaxed and enjoyed myself, uh, ate a little bit of lunch, and then the guys arrived. And we walked out to Hanson's Point together. We sat out there, they ate lunch, we hung out, we had a great time, I was feeling fantastic. The hike out to Hanson's isn't a very difficult one and I felt fantastic. After we ate lunch, we headed down the trail towards Gray's Arch and this is where I started to notice things were getting a little weird. Now you have to understand, it was in the mid 90s, uh, the humidity was in the 90s and it was just crazy hot and muggy. And here we were off to hike out to Gray's Arch. And so we hiked along until we came to a water crossing where we all sat and relaxed for a few minutes. Uh, we had been sweating like crazy because it was so hot. So we stopped, took our packs off, uh, refilled our water bottles, and just kind of relaxed for a few minutes. And honestly, at this point, I was, I was feeling good. Uh, wasn't feeling horrible. Um, but I noticed that I was having a little bit of trouble um, getting up the hills. I noticed I was having trouble with just not feeling quite right but it didn't seem like enough to really worry about it so we just kept trucking along after we filled up our water bottles and we got going uh, I hit the first hill and within 50 feet I just had to stop my heart was racing like crazy and I just didn't feel right so we continued to hike a couple more miles and suddenly I'm really starting to feel bad I'm realizing that something is not what it's supposed to be take it a little bit further and we come to a cross point in the trail where you can take a left and go back to the road where we got on the trail originally or you could take a right and go down to gray's arch i called jason and told him something's not right i need to probably head back to my truck and get in some air conditioning and cool down and so that's what i did and when i got back i checked my pulse and my pulse was over 200 uh, when I got home later that day because I couldn't finish the trail, my body temperature was over 100. Uh, a day later, it was still 99.7, and it took two days for my temperature to get back down to normal. My heart was racing. I felt horrible. Uh, something just wasn't right. And I'm going to tell you point blank, heat exhaustion is no joke. If you're out in the heat, you've really got to be careful. But truth be told, I'm not going to blame this on heat exhaustion. I'm going to blame this on being too fat. Before, before I go too far with this, this is a hard conversation to have. And I think if I was 165 pounds and in great shape and able to run marathons, I probably couldn't talk about this right now. But... I'm a 272 pound man and that's after losing 20 pounds. I'm a man who has fought obesity since I got out of college and today I'm telling you I'm frustrated. I'm completely frustrated. I'm at a point in my life where uh, I feel like I'm at a crossroads not between fat and skinny but widowing my wife and orphaning my children and living the life that I want to live. Last summer, I did a video where I said enough is enough. I've got to lose the weight. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it. And I was dead set on doing it. 
As a matter of fact, in, in a short period of time, I lost about 15 to 20 pounds, was feeling really good about myself. I only got two weigh-in videos into my weight loss before something horrific happened in my life. The week of my last weigh-in, my uncle, who I was extremely close to, passed away. Two months later, another uncle of mine, who I was also extremely close to, dies suddenly and out of nowhere. A month after that, one of my best friends in the world died from cancer. And in January of 2020, on the 1st of January, I lost my aunt, who I named my daughter after. I went into some serious depression. And, and I don't talk about this with anybody. And so the fact that I'm doing this online is kind of freaking me out. And I don't, I don't joke about this kind of stuff because depression is a real thing. It's a hard thing. And a lot of people don't want to talk about it. But I went through some serious depression. And when some people go through depression, they hit the bottle. But when I went through depression, I hit the plate. I, uh, I just turned to food. Food became my medication. It became the way I dealt with everything. And even in the midst of, of all my family dying, I went through a four month span where I had bronchitis, walking pneumonia, and in February I had COVID. Long story short, the next six months after I committed to losing weight did not go the way I planned. And then in March, all of our local trails closed down, national parks closed down, and in the process of all of that, I kept gaining weight. And it was about two months ago, I looked at my wife and I said, I think I'm, I think it's time. I think it's time that, that I lose this weight. I am really scared that at this point, my health is going to be in question. Now, I'll be honest, at no point has my health ever been bad because of my weight. I've always been active, even though I'm a big guy. But I've never had a problem with, with heart issues or diabetes or any of that stuff. But I noticed things didn't feel quite right anymore. And so I talked to my wife and we committed to going through a program called Noom. And we started doing that. And within the first few weeks, I'd lost some weight, was feeling good. Um, had lost about 10 pounds before that. And that was when we went on this trip. And I thought I've lost a little bit of weight. I've been getting out exercising more. I'm in great, I'm, I'm in a great place where I can really enjoy this trip. And, and truth be told, I wasn't ready. I wasn't, I wasn't where I needed to be, and I almost hurt myself really bad. Now, why am I taking time on my backpacking channel to talk about this? Well, I'm just going to tell you there are a lot of us who are backpackers that are overweight. We all know it. We, we go through it. And I, I know because I've talked to some of you and we've shared this with each other that sometimes... Going on a hike is the greatest thing in the world and the most demoralizing thing in the world, especially when you're hiking with other people because they go out ahead of you and, and you have to pull back a lot. Now, I will say, I always finish the trail. Always have until two weeks ago. My weight's caught up to me. My, my lack of, of good health has caught up to me. And I'm 46 years old. I can't play around with this much longer. Uh, if I'm not careful, I could hit a, I could hit a, a low that I can't recover from. Okay, so here's the truth, and this <laughs> this is not easy, um, but I'm admitting today I'm fat. I'm horribly obese, and I'm out of shape, and I'm gonna throw an opportunity out there. If you're like me, and you struggle with weight loss, um, if you're like me and you love backpacking, but sometimes you hate the way you feel on the trail. If you're like me and finding gear that fits is difficult, or you have a tough time getting your base weight down because you have to buy bigger clothes and bigger clothes way more. I want to throw out an opportunity. If that's you and you would like to take this journey with me, if you're someone who's struggling with your weight and you want to get get this under control, you want to get your health back, and you want to really enjoy being in the backcountry, I want you to go to the About page of my channel and shoot me an email. I'm going to create a private group for those of us who are bigger and we're in the backcountry, and 
allow us the opportunity to be open and real with each other. I don't want to go it alone, and I don't want you to go it alone. I've already had uh, one member of the Backpacking YouTube community reach out to me, and we've chatted about this. And I know there are more. And I know there are more of you that have nothing to do with YouTube other than watching the videos, but you want to do this too. And so here's a chance for us to build a community, a community that's committed to getting ourselves right so we can truly enjoy being in the backcountry. So I want to get right, and if you want to get right, let's get together and let's make this happen. And if you found any value in this video, please give it the thumbs up. If you found no value in it at all, you can give it the thumbs down. I'm not going to be hurt by it. People do thumbs down sometimes. So if you want to keep up with the channel and you want to find out more, subscribe and then hit the notification bell so you find out anytime one of these videos drops. And until next time, stay strong, hike long, and I'll definitely catch you on the next go-round.